Nucleophiles can undergo similar type substitution reactions as electrophiles. In order for a nucleophilic substitution to take place, what we need are a strong nucleophile, a good leaving group, and often, depending on the strength of the nucleophile, one or more electron withdrawing groups. In this example, electron withdrawing groups are present, and what this will help to do is to take electron density away from the benzene ring itself. To expose the nucleus, nucleophile seeks nucleus, so this will help in the nucleophilic reaction. Once this once these conditions are met, a nucleophile will be able to attach itself to the same carbon that the leaving group is on, often a halide. Similar to the way that the electrophilic substitution takes place. And the complex that is formed is almost exactly the same as in the electrophilic substitution, but instead of a cation, it's a carb anion. And it forms a similar sigma complex, but instead of having that positive charge, it's a negative charge. So the electron withdrawing groups also help to support that negative charge. The leaving group will then take a pair of electrons and leave at the same time. This extra electron pair will form a new double bond. And what remains is the nucleophile taking place of the leaving group, in this case chlorine, and the aromatic stability of the ring is restored.